Alrighty coders, welcome back to Bagare and in this video I'll be walking through with you a step-by-step -step process to creating a function to hash your password. So if you're writing an application that has some sort of user authentication and you want to save a user's password, it is advisable to hash it so that you don't play you don't store it in just the plain text. And so this is the video you'd want to watch. So uh, the function that we're going to create is not going to be more or less more than five lines of code, I guess. Um, so uh, what we'll do is actually create our project and we'll make it a console project. So just next and then we'll just call it hash password. Uh, then next and create. And uh, I would like to say to you, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like, and the share button, right? Um, so, okay. Uh, what you then need to do is actually create like a function, right? So this function will return a string and the name of the function will be hash password, right? And then... This function will return a string, right? And it will accept a password, right? A password, right? So yeah, that's what we need. All right, so what we'll need to do is actually have like a var SHA, because we're gonna be using the SHA256. That's gonna help us to hash our password. And then we can hover on this and actually, so we can actually import, right? Using this, yeah, system security encryption, yes. Then we'll have use the create. This create will actually help us instantiate, right? This, right? So what we need to know is this SHA, right? We have like a function in here, which is compute password right and this function takes in some sort of like a byte array so we'd want to first uh, uh convert like our password into a byte array before we can use uh this compute right method right okay so how do we do that so how do we do that is actually we'll have a var right um as byte right uh array so this is going to be our password as a byte array. And then we'll use the encoding, right? Hover on this. Want to import this system.txt. And then we'll just say use the default dot get bytes, right? And these bytes, we're going to get these bytes from our actual password, right? So after that's being done, we're going to have another uh, method uh, another variable here which is has uh, this is going to be the hashed password right hash password and this is going to take from this sha use this method which is the compute hash and then we'll pass in this byte array which will then help us to hash our password right but if we try to return this right over here over here uh, okay how do I okay hashed password if I try to return it there uh, we'll see that that's not possible right because this is returning to us this method over here is returning to us a hashed code right so we need to convert that to a string so how we do that is say convert Dot two base 64 string and then we're gonna pass in this hash password uh hashed password not hash because this is the method so we're gonna pass in this hashed password and as i said like this is just not more than four lines of code i guess it's one two three and four if we include this return statement right so now what we can do is actually now use the method right so if we have like some sort of a string that is our password right and then which equals to this hash this password so we want to hash in like maybe a string 
uh, and then this would be like bug array right and then we probably want our console dot right the line right which is going to be our password right uh, save that and if we run our application we should see our program loading in our hashed password so this will be our hash password right so we can write in something like hash password um, is that does that work okay yeah it does so if i run this again and my program, I should get in like a text that's written hash password. Okay, what happened? Uh, that didn't work, I guess. Can I concatenate that? Let me see if that's gonna work. Oh yeah, so this will say, this is my hashed password. So in some sort of like, we actually done with the video because this is the function we needed to hash our password. So let's take for instance that, um, this is a password that's stored, right? So our stored, stored password, right? So this is gonna be the one that's probably stored in our database, right? And then now we wanna write in some code to ask the user for their password and then actually like check if the password is equal to the stored password, then you can then authenticate the user, right? So how we're gonna do that is we'll use this console.write line and this would say uh, please enter your password, right? Um, so then we'll have something like this console.read line and this read line will be from the user's password which is the one that the user is going to enter in right user password and if ever you're creating like some sort of an api you will get this from a body right and then we'll have that while true this while loop will just be an infinite loop and then how we'll resort to it is actually say if um, if password, right? So we want to say user password equals to a hashed password. So hash the user's password, right? Um, the user password, and then if if the user's password uh, dot equals to the one that is stored in our database right uh, which is stored password right then we can just console dot write um, you have access to the system right All right well else else well we don't need an else we can just do it outside this loop so if we have access we'll just want to just break out of this loop well else uh we'll then ask the user to actually enter their password again right so how we do that is by that line of code right we move this and then we can like console log something like this. Um, um, this will just say invalid password. Invalid password. Please try again. Right? So this is what will happen. Um, how the program will say, say just like, please enter your password and then it will check if the password is going to be now the hashed password is equal to this password right and then just say that okay you have access and if not incorrect and just ask them again well let's let's test this right so my password is probably google right 
Uh, invalid password. Please try again. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, yeah. Please try again. Okay. <laughs> okay, Google password wrong. So now let's say we say buggery, right? Buggery will say you have access because now this password that we have from there, right? Uh, well, let's just console log the password. Right, dot log. Uh, man. <laughs> now, when you use a lot of TypeScript, you just for JavaScript, you think of console log. Um, so if I just log out the password, right? Obviously, you do not return the encrypted password or hashed password. I mean to say, um, this is to show you that it's actually not plain text. Um, did I? What did I do wrong? Okay, write that, write that, write that. Is this working? Okay, yeah. Uh, Google, right? This password is wrong. Wrong. But if I say bug, bug array, I just want to show you this is the encrypted password. So when it checks it out with the actual hashed password, not encrypted password, it sees that it's a match. And then it allows the user to be authenticated. So um, if you want to incorporate this into your system, you would just take this function and use it as a tool and just use that to actually hash your password, match it with the one that's stored in the database, and then you authenticate the user. So with all that being said, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now, peace.